Is this uh, Stingray Reef? Right? Stingrays, there's lots of jellyfish in that at the moment. Stingrays as a car. Don't get confused. To the side. Uh, give us one of them prawns, I'm starving. <laughs> I'm chilling out before breakfast. Green amps uh, again, there they are, that has got some up. It's all around here. I reckon it's rock up it's really. And the sprouts straight away. This is the uh, Dunk Island Air Strip.
Right, so for lunch. Yes. Oh, that plane looks like it's coming in. Now that's what you call calamari, stacked up high, big pieces. What's that, a bacon steak burger? Sand Island in the middle of a coral reef. This is Coconut Reef Beach on Dunk Island. Perry's just gone out for a swim. Even though you're not supposed to because it's stinger season still. But, uh, I don't know where the vinegar is if one gets him. What's this here? There's the jellyfish vinegar station. Safety belt for when you get cramp.
Set up somewhere, they're not fair. It's taking a snap. This is our budget hotel. Caravella. Backpackers. Dorms and small rooms. Square and pole, there's nobody in it. There were plenty in it at three o'clock this morning. Making a night racket. Got communal kitchens. Plenty of cookers. It's a bit early, nobody's up yet. 
laundry, fridges. No noise after the eleven, my foot. That's our room, but I uh, don't know if I can get Janet's attention. Room's a bit dinky though. Could be self up. <laughs> Look at the size of the room. You don't do rooms. You I don't do rooms, but I do uh, hutches. It's more like a hutch. Shoebox hang Nice artwork, though. Well, there's a bit more room because I've taken the pack out already. Janet's living out of the case because there's no wardrobes at all. Air conditioning, fridge, one strip light, one bed. That's it. No hooks. No hooks. And the view of the pool. Oh, they've got their own miniature bee nests. Look like little ants, but they're actually bees. Pulling it, pulling it out plants. Very noisy. Bats. It's a bat colony. Please, please, Louise, at the marina. Young Grilla. Marley Walk, that's where we're going to catch uh, the Dutch boats at Reef here tomorrow. Yes, they're now to do an English breakfast, and that's Janet's first egg on toast, and with her own marmite, of course. Yep, I'll be spending some money there. There is a fair size. They've got cockroaches in best shops. Oh dear. Yep. 
Look, I believe that's a Convert Palace Cinema into Traveller's Accommodation. There's that many backpackers. It's on the mall. Yeah, this is the right army in there, this is all the stuff that's flogging in here. The bombs. Got so much reflection. And there's a tow mucket. Right kit for sale here. Oh well, yeah, I could spend a few hours in this shop. Not suitable. No. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to spend an hour in here. That's our new hotel, Coral Tree. Is it the park? Coral trees. Six nights, no more shipping about now. Six nights with a balcony over pool. And we're just going about to go for a dip. But I'm videoing it just in case the sun never shines again. Look at this fern outside, straight outside the window. Beautiful. Because there's a cyclone on, him, on its way. There'll be no trees left shortly going by that cyclone. Yeah. Nice Oh, we've had our free meal in the wool shed. Now there's a man on it in precinct. Why are the busking? Are they busking these ones? Oh, they are busking now. Oh yeah, that's a good photo. But really, mural.
Cowboys line. Typical Aussie evening. Travis Norton. Inside the 30 he goes. Slow play the ball. Came with a pass that was very clean. Body calls it there between Scott Kidd and Scott Smith to the ball. Oh! Travis Norton. 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 Travis
Yes, I've already got a cut of that. That was the first thing that I did in the station. <laughs> They're overreacting a little bit myself. Yeah, I do too. Beati, may I show them? Yes, Beati. Yeah, this is the, um, the latest thing of the, this is the cyclone off the internet this morning. Oh. Um, I think they overreacted too. Um, here it is here. This is where it is at the moment. It's 7 a.m. this morning. Here you are, here mm. Cairns. And... Um, Mm. And this is expected to hit probably Innisfail below us uh -huh. at um, tomorrow, AM tomorrow. Also, mm. it is actually coming this way, direct. Yes, yes. But, I mean, how can they predict <coughs> that it's going to go straight? No. Oh, no way. Yeah. yeah. And that's the Opal Mine, which uh, reminds me a lot of Briggs's Quarry. The new trouble was signed by Larry, Category 3, with central pressure 965 hectopascals centered in the cold sea. The latitude 17.6 degrees south and longitude 152.1 degrees east, which is about 680 kilometers east of Cairns. The cyclone is expected to intensify further and move in a general westerly direction at about 25 kilometers per hour over the next 24 hours. The center of cyclone, tropical cyclone Larry, is likely to be near the Queensland coast. Thank you. 
Video, not a camera. Saint Saviour's Church. Let there be light. Honey O'Reilly's Bar and Grill.
코링 잡기 찍기 Tonight, one of the most powerful cyclones in decades is bearing down on the North Queensland coast. Severe tropical cyclone Larry may intensify to a Category 5 before crossing the coast between Innisfail and Cardwell tomorrow morning. The Queensland Government has declared a disaster situation as some island resorts and coastal communities evacuate. By the time it reaches the coast, it's expected the storm will have wind gusts nearing 300 kilometres an hour, making it as strong as Hurricane Katrina, which lashed New Orleans last year. By this evening, Cyclone Larry was still intensifying, with wind gusts over 250 kilometres an hour at its centre and heading quickly for the coast. We're going to have an impact on the North Queensland coast tomorrow morning, the like of which we haven't seen for decades. The cyclone's eye is expected to hit hardest between Innisfail and Cardwell. Serious threat to life and property in the water. Lots of big furniture. 6:30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time this morning. Severe tropical cyclone Larry, Category Five, with central pressure of 915. It stripped out trees out here. Yeah. North tropical Queensland coast. Near latitude 17.6 degrees south. Where my house from it? Longitude 146.2 degrees east, about 20 kilometres east of Innisfail. The cyclone is expected to continue to move in a general westerly direction. I've protected in here, but it's stripping all trees. That would have full tree of in here, bro. Very destructive core of severe tropical cyclone Larry with extreme gusts of approximately 290 km an hour winds is moving onto the coast in the Innisfail area. Destructions will be significantly above the normal tide with damaging waves, strong currents and flooding of low-lying areas. 
extending some way inland. Severe tropical cyclone Larry will move further inland during the day, although the cyclone will actually weaken. The destructive core of Larry will move between Innisfail and Mackay. Yeah, that was... Uh, well, you couldn't see that roof before. You could stay of it now. We're in a protected area. I don't know what it's like outside. All then what have come off today. No, well, I'm glad we're not in those uh, little flimsy backpacker places that have gone to bits. Let's go into something solid. There she is, all dolled up. Ready to go out. God, we're going to look right in this stick, see it. Look, they're having a big clean up. Great pool up already. It's uh, half past one. We'll see what's happening downtown. All dolled up for the casino. Well, Bowens is still standing. Yeah, it's stripped that tree good and proper. All Ardings come down, but wind. Clearing up, going off. Yeah, there's plenty of windfalls. <laughs> windfalls, cyclone falls. Palm leaves all over. Branches all over the road. Yeah, it's got a bit of power to snap them, hasn't it? Yeah, that one's killed over. Little dogs are doing well at Big Red Falls. setting that tree out. Mm, yeah. Oh well but took suck mud and roll out as well. See, no one blown away then. Oh, that's handy. Best palms are down. But that snapped, snapped clean off. Look, casinos, that's a bag its doors up. And them bags are full of notes. Chips. Full of chips. <laughs> That's what I'm after winning them on jackpot. All three. All three. We're in there for breakfast. So are you enjoying your, enjoying your drink? Oh, somebody's got the jackpot, can hear it background. Oh hell, it does sound like a good win. It's a bit early yet, we'll let tables on kick off. They've even, this is what I like about it, they've even got racing in.
Look at the wind outside getting up. You can see it through that. Oh yeah. Flatten a load of trees around Marina. That's, that one's down. That one's down. Back blocked. We've got a cycle landing spot. <laughs> Psycho. Oh, that's a big one. Talk about opposites. Three masons there, and then on that corner, there's a hostel called the Asylum. Asylum, full of nutters. And there's the biggest nutter. Oh, there she is. That was our first room in Cairns, in this hostel. it didn't blow down last night. Well they've had some leaf drop. Had a cake to real thin. See if I can zoom in it and there's tons of them. There's the scout hut with the scout hat on top. The park outside our there's quite a few branches and things broken down off the trees. Cleared most of it by now. Yeah, we didn't do too bad in Cairns. And that's our hotel there. disaster powers to compel many residents to leave their homes and spend the night in shelters. Our first officer said, well, you know, if you don't go, the police will come and drag you out. And I said, oh! The cyclone was declared Category 5 shortly before it hit the coast early this morning. And those who remained in their homes witnessed the full force of Larry's fury. Oh, yeah. Oh my God, this is terrifying. I've just, it's just about stopped. It's gone down. I've got windows out, windows broken, trees down, the garage doors gone, fences down. My mum has my son underneath the bed. We have mattresses covered all over them and my dad is holding one of the windows shut. That's the room that they're in. The Mayor of Johnston Shire, Neil Clark, says the town is devastated. Uh, looks like an uh, atomic bomb hit the place. Uh, it, it's, it's severe damage. It, it's more oh, than a local there. area can handle. It's, it's, uh, I think it will even stretch the state to be able to handle this one and we will be calling on national resources. Fortunately, there have been few reports of injuries. No fatalities that uh, we're aware of at this stage. We're absolutely astounded at the, the low injury rate. Darwin in 1974, Queensland Weather Bureau's senior meteorologist, Mike Bergen, says Cyclone Larry was less dangerous. But that's little consolation for the 100,000 North Queenslanders without electricity this evening, or the thousands who can't return home. And farmers face crop losses of more than $300 million. For Queensland emergency services officers and the residents of North Queensland, the work has only just begun. It's just tragic for the whole community. Uh, being a tourism town, it's, uh, it's terrible. And a farming town, it's the sugar and bananas have been uh, absolutely wiped out. 
the complete destruction right through in this file. On top of the hill, I know that yesterday live on air that we were talking to a lot of people. Oh yeah, we've got that church. Inside the church, there's the church on the top of the hill. The back of the building has just been blown out. A little hard to see from this particular angle. But everywhere you turn, every single building has some level of damage involved, whether it's the roofs ripped off. Yeah, the roofs caved in, walls have been blown out. Um, of course, no power is a major problem. You can tell why when all the transponders and all the all the power units are all destroyed, power lines for hundreds and hundreds of kilometres are either snapped in half or the, wire, the wires are down. Windows just don't exist in this town anymore. Um, <laughs> with last night's heavy rain, not only were people forced to live without a house, without a roof, but also the rain just to rub salt into the wound. We've got the Now look at that, that won't get blown over in a wind will it? Well anchored down. Must have few leaves like. We'll just have a pan round here because uh, Janet's just found the North Indian Curry House, which is our favourite kind of Indian curry. Where she go? Oh yeah, Sandori oven. You don't mess about. You don't mess about, do you? Bad news. No, no kingfisher. Oh, that means I have to go to the bottle shop, which is enough license to us. I better go over there then. Somewhere. And there's the bottle shop. Bottle Mart. Oh yeah. 